the bit, uh, I want to know uh, how they get here. So they have a report on, uh, uh, they have a report on uh, how many people are coming from search engines and how many people are coming from direct traffic. Direct traffic means probably they just type in the website. Okay. And the referring site means that they coming from, uh, they come here from uh, other, other website. So the, the other website probably uh, have a link on that, and then they click that link, uh, the link to this site. Okay, that's the referring site. Okay, so uh, for our site, the search engine is the major part. Uh, of, okay, so this is just this is the official website of uh, T, uh, Taipei Medical University. So um, most of people don't know uh, our uh, URL, so they they just use the search engine to. To, to search our site and then come to here. Okay, so the, the, uh, it will show the keywords they use. They use. Okay, for example, Taipei Medical University are the, the major one. Okay. And some are the, uh, the Chinese. Okay, and uh, I can know uh, the source uh, in here. So for the re referral site, I will know uh, most of people are coming here from this site. Okay. Although the, the percentage is very low. Okay, and uh, so uh, beside of the map, they have uh, numbers and the pie, uh, pie graphic. So this is for, uh, for you to turn in a report to, to your boss. And... Um, I we will find out that uh, our bo uh, my boss like this kind of report very much. Okay, this is the content view. What do they see? Uh, what do they want to see in our site? For example, this is a official site. So apply for admission is the most important thing beside of the main page. Main page are always the major part because that's the first page they visit. Okay, and then they will find out what kind of information they want to look at. So they will go to that page. So uh, we know apply, uh, uh, apply for admission is the uh, most important thing they want to know. So uh, we can know uh, what they want, uh, what information is important and what kind of information we have to uh, make that clear. Okay, and then uh, for IT guy, uh, we want to know what kind of device they are using, so that we can know uh, if our site are compliant compliant to that uh, device. For example, there's a lot of uh, websites not very good to see on the smartphone, so uh, we have we have find out that, but we we still need time to modify them. Okay, all right, and. Uh, uh, so right now we can know uh, the OS and the device they are using. Uh, so there's a statistic for that. All right, and then there's some advanced metrics I can show you. Okay, first uh, notation parts. Uh, this this site is for uh, our uh, LMAs. Just uh, is that uh, our e-learning platform. Okay, uh, we have find out that uh, there's a peak, uh, a peak here. This is the one course, uh, the flow, the visitor flow from uh, one course. So we find out there's a peak here, and then when we check on our notation, I know uh, that's the day before their midterm. Okay, so everybody study hard before the midterm. Okay, and uh, we have two D matrix. Uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, the GA provides 2D metrics, so you can combine two kind of uh, uh, metrics and uh, get some statistics on that. For example, this, uh, this example is that uh, we use content and we want to know who from where want like to know what. Okay. All right. Uh, this is the content part. Uh, so we, we know that uh, one one link they they want to look look at one content they want to look at, and then. Uh, 
we we split that uh, data and we find out that most of people looking at that contents coming from Taiwan and one uh, some from Hong Kong and some from China. I know this because some uh, most of uh, the course content are in Chinese, so um, the majorly they are they are Chi they are Chinese people looking at it. And then there's a function of in-page link. Uh, this example is using for our uh, official website. And for in our daily life, we want to know uh, uh, which link on this page are very important to our uh, users. So uh, this uh, function can let us know which part is uh, the most uh, popular link. OK, so you see that the small small number here, that's the percentage of that link to be clicked. Okay, and in this page, this page is our uh, student main page. So we find out uh, most people like to uh, go into My2TMU, that's our e-learning platform. About half of them are doing this. And uh, one, one quarter of them are uh, using the webmail system. Okay, and then uh, we collect the data and we can do some trend analysis. For example, I can get data from 2007 to 2010. And uh, uh, in March 2010, uh, the Consortium of Taiwan have launched its website. And it has a side index of each course. So after that, we, we find out that the, our, the traffic of our site grows a lot. Okay. And uh, if we look at the source, the source of our visit, that, that most of them are coming from the referring site. And then the referring site, the major part of our referring site is Taiwan Consortium. So uh, from the uh, data collection and trend analysis, we can know uh, some in, uh, influence from uh, many aspects. Uh, okay, and then when we collect a lot of data from different sites, we can, we can also do a cross-site comparison. And we, we find out that different sites have different, different kinds of uh, characteristics. For example, this My2TMU is our um, e-learning platform. It's majorly for our uh, TMU students. So we can find out a lot of students are coming from TMU, of course. All right, and our podcast is a MOD system. It's a collect a lot of videos in uh, TMU. And we find out uh, a lot of visitor is from Google's. And then our OCW site, we find out a lot of people are coming from our consortium. Okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, another use of this data. And for uh, Taiwan Open Courseware uh, Consortium, we have uh, uh, about uh, 27 members right now. Uh, they are all university. And uh, in this year, we have one uh, corporation uh, members. And uh, for the courses, we are uh, we are exceed uh, one thousand courses right now uh, in Taiwan. And uh, there's a lot of video contents. And begin in two years ago, we begin to do this uh, project. Uh, Called uh, crop reporting aggregator. We want to do. Uh, we want to collect the uh, the flow. Uh, the GA report automatically because um, in Taiwan, uh, a lot of uh, uh, OCW site is uh, it's not a major job for <laughs> for our staff. It's a uh, we, our staff do so many things, so they are too busy. So we want to, uh, we, we don't want to give them too, mo too, too many things to do. So we want to build an automatic system uh, to doing this. So uh, we just asked our member uh, university that uh, they just uh, uh, put in that Google code. They have to do this anyway. 
they have to put the Google code into their pages or site, and then they set up uh, the Google. Uh, they, they can set up on uh, G G A, and there's an email function, and the the email can send automatically to uh, to to the central, and then we uh, the consortium can get the reports automatically, and they can collect all the data. So uh, we build that uh, using this kind, of, these free uh, tools. All right. So I'm showing you how. Okay. Uh, in the dashboard uh, page, there's the email function. You can just set up the email, and uh, then we just type in uh, the email here, and then uh, we are we are just we are just using the PDF file. Of course, you can use other kind of file. For example, you can use CSV file. If you collect CSV file, you can you probably uh, easier to get the data and analyze it. And the frequency is monthly. Uh, we use that monthly data. Okay. Oh, okay. This is our setting for Taiwan, right? We use uh, we still use PDF file because we like the graphic parts. And they have an advanced option here, and it can set up the activation time. Uh, I think the longest one is 12 months. So after 12 months, you have to come back and look at it. All right, and the dashboard. This is the dashboard. Okay, when you set up the uh, email, if you want to change it, you can go to the admin part, and then they will give you your schedule emails function. This will record every uh, setting you have, and if you want to modify them, you can modify them. Okay, and we use Google Group to collect all the emails. So we ask the uh, we set up in this email. We set up here use the Google Groups uh, mail. And then the report was sent to the Google Groups. And every member in Google Groups can receive that mail as well. So we just share, share every report uh, automatically and uh, uh, just open. <laughs> okay. And uh, this uh, workshop has do uh, three times uh, already in, uh, in 2011. And we do one uh, last year. And in our schedule, we want to put all of our member university uh, on the list. However, we still uh, we haven't reached that yet. Okay, this is the flow report uh, aggregate from uh, ten universities. Uh, this is the uh, by 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 months. Okay, and we we just report we report, we report these numbers to our. Uh, uh, minister, uh, minister of Education, and uh, we we submit the data of uh, visitors and unique visitors and the page views to 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 our government. Okay, this is some reference you can check on. All right, thank you. Uh, this is uh, all the information that I want to share with you today. So if you got any questions, you can raise your hand and uh, uh, or type in in the chat room. Uh, um, we will, we have recorded this uh, uh, webinar, and we will this uh, release that later. Uh, thank you very much, Marianne. Um, is very useful. I think that this kind of availability of this kind of information that you have just presented is going to really help others who are possibly thinking of um, setting up Google Analytics to track uh, visits to their own OCW sites. Um, I have got two questions. Uh, one is related to 
um, um, to, to any possible qualitative feedback that you might have collected? Have you been successful in collecting qualitative feedback from users? I mean, the, the, the results that you have presented now are based on Google Analytics statistics. Um, but have you been uh, successful in uh, getting feedback from users as to how they're using the, those materials or who they, who they really are? Um, because we do understand that it's quite, uh, quite difficult to collect this kind of feedback. Uh, people normally do not uh, leave feedback easily. Uh, when they visit open course websites so hence the collecting information by google in, uh, google analytics seems to be the most uh, obvious choice um, and the second question that i have is related to to how you are reporting the the visits um, so if you are reporting on the number of visitors in a particular month let's say and it tells you that you had uh, 30,000 visitors and out of that maybe um, 15,000 is unique visitors uh, where would you be putting more emphasis on the general visits or would you be also reporting on the unique visits? Okay, thank you, Igor. Uh, for the first uh, questions, yeah, I, honestly, to get the feedback uh, from uh, users is really not really tough. Yeah, so um, uh, right now we are just doing the Google Analytics because this uh, objective uh, numbers, and uh, for the user part, uh, we are thinking um, if we can combine some Facebook parts, probably we can get some information from uh, the user. But we still uh, want uh, we we haven't get any uh, improvement on that yet. But uh, we are thinking of uh, combining the Facebook functions uh, into our site and uh, get some uh, mm. probably we just open some o o OSW course on the Facebook probably we can get the profile from users <laughs> yeah anyway um, uh, but right now uh, the uh, Google Analytics is uh, the only uh, objective uh, numbers we have right now okay and for the second questions um, we actually in our report, we count the visitors and we count the vi a unique visitor group. Both both numbers we count. Yeah, because uh, but majorly uh, unique visitors uh, um, uh, we count the unique visitors uh, in the OCW site. But uh, for our uh, like uh, our uh, e-learning platform, we will count the visitors. Yeah, because uh, we know. There's a, a lot of particular users are using this site, so we just we count the visitors. Is that uh, answer your question? Yeah. And the, we have found out that the, the users on our OCW site, they stay quite long, very long time. They, they really are, are reading things and uh, for the podcast site it's a video site and uh, it's getting longer so I, we really find out that the people like to watch videos more than uh, just files okay anyone got uh, other questions Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.